All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kadabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Omen Pack, which is being made by user Zeostar1. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a wonderful new gas giant with a lovely selection of moons for you to explore. And these are some pretty nice celestial bodies. So let's uh, jump right on into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get here. Now, while I zoom out to the new extents of our solar system, I do, of course, need to mention that this... Well, yeah, it's a planet pack, so you are going to need Copernicus for this all to operate, which also does, yes, mean you're going to need to be back in the previous 1.9.1 version of the game. But with it installed, you'll notice we have a new orbit here in yellow that is very close to our world. Like really oddly close. Typically when we uh, get new planets, they're either way out in the distance or fairly, you know, in the middle between other orbits. This one is almost on a parallel course with our planet here, and that is interesting, but it is, of course, our new planet of Omen, and look at all of this. It is just Magnificent! Not only is it a new gas giant, but it's got a ring, and you guys know me, I'm a sucker for a ring. And like I said, a couple of lovely moons for you to also explore here. So let's actually take a look at the planet here first off, which is, of course, Omen. And it's a pretty large gas a giant with a radius of 7,000 kilometers, a gravity of 3 Gs, and it does have an atmosphere, but as per usual with gas giants, it's an atmosphere you do not want to go into. And just look at that beautiful ring. I do love those. Now, after that, the first moon that we get here is Mars, spelled with a Z. And it has a radius of 200 kilometers, a much lower gravity of 0.768 Gs, and does not have an atmosphere. And is quite a dark colored world, but does have a little pop of, I was about to say color, but I mean, technically it is, of white up at the top with a polar cap, which is always nice to see. Now moving on, we've got Ron. Ron is a bit smaller than Mars at 100 kilometers in radius with a gravity of surprisingly 3.07 Gs. That's a lot of gravity for this little thing. And like with Mars, it does not have an atmosphere and is much brighter in color. And I love the fact that both of them are in the middle of the ring just sort of plowing through it. It's very cool. Now then, um, the uh, third moon is Jeb, named, of course, after the illustrious Jebediah. Now, this is a uh, planet, or rather moon, 480 kilometers in radius, with a gravity of 0.89 Gs, and it does have an atmosphere as well as a load of lakes slash, I guess, small oceans scattered around the place. It is pretty darn cool. And the final moon we have is Aries, which is 430 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 1.1 Gs and does have an atmosphere. And also does seem to have some lakes, but they look a bit, um, toxic. And overall, though, it's just another fun moon added in. All four of the moons are pretty cool places to go and explore. I do especially love uh, Jebediah over here because it's just, well, a nice habitable world for you to go and explore. And that is always a great to have. And all the little lakes dotted around could add a fun little challenge of you sending some boats there. Now, uh, the Aries one is a little bit more depressing, but still a nice moon, and with the atmosphere, could be another target for colonization. Now, as for the inner moons here of uh, Mars and Ron, gotta love that name. I gotta think, I gotta say, I think probably Mars is my favorite because it, it has a bit more, I was about to say interesting of terrain, but Ron actually is a lot more craggy, you know, with a lot more actual topography. But I think I like Mars more because it's got more craters in the area. The darker color is also kind of nice. I do prefer that sort of color palette myself. And it does have those nice little polar ice caps on both the top and bottom. And it's just such 
a gorgeous view of Omen there in the background. It is pretty darn neat. But let's go over here to my Viewmatic Survey Satellite. I've got an orbit around it so you can get a little bit closer of a look there and just see the magnificent view you get from this world. I mean, how could you not love that? You get a similar one from Ron. You can actually see Ron back there. Or actually, is that... Oh yeah, there's Rond, a little bit dark because of the sun coming this way. Then that should be Jeb back that way. So they're all quite close to one another, which is pretty cool. And just all in all, it's a nice little system. Who doesn't love having some more planets and moons to go and explore? And especially when it comes with a ring. A kind of faint ring, but still a ring nonetheless, so I do love it. So I would definitely recommend you to try out this uh, lovely little planet pack. It's a pretty cool one. So if you would like to give it a try, check out the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we're looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.